So narcissism has to be understood on a continuum. There are personality traits that many of us in our society consider somewhat positive. Feeling valued or important, being the life of the party, being mildly uh, conceited or vain, having some arrogance, being somewhat selfish, um, doesn't always define someone with a personality disorder. In fact, um, many people um, go through a stage of their life, especially in their younger years, where they're trying to find out who they are and might even experiment with some of that. M one might even say mild narcissism is healthy. Fe feeling valued or important, special or unique, being the life of the party, the center of attention, the funny guy, the, the funny girl, uh, successful artists, musicians or executives aren't necessarily emotional manipulators. People who are moderate narcissists still can be in relationships, still can have empathy. So let's talk about mild or benign narcissists. It represents someone who's selfish, self-centered, and egotistic, but are able to control their self-centered traits. They're able to meet their loved one's emotional needs, but they might not choose to. They're able to be reciprocal in mutual relationships. They just might forget that they have to or need to be reminded. They can suspend their self-focus. They are able to um, own up to their self-centered behavior. They can say they're sorry. These are the narcissists that we love, that annoy us, that we say Stop, it's not always about you and they apologize. We call it narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. NPD, um, the best, one of the, my favorite quotes is unrestrained self-love, extreme selfishness, egocentrism, self-absorbed, self-centered. They have an insatiable need for admiration and appreciation. They're vain. They're self-focused. They tend to be in relationships where they turn it around to how it affects them. The relationships tend to be one-sided, void of mutuality, void of reciprocity, and they can be generous. They can pretend to be generous when personal gain is imminent or when, when uh, strings are attached. They have uh, narcissists, NPDs, have an excessive need for admiration, affirmation, and praise. They just can't get enough because their self-esteem really is, is more broken than the codependent. The emotional manipulator has a worse self-esteem. They're just not conscious of it, which is why they get so angry when they're um, criticized or confronted because the idea of being wrong um, brings back rage of what has once been repressed. They're grandiose. They believe that they're better than everyone. Um, they're experts at most things. They have an exaggerated sense of self-importance. They believe they're morally or intellectually superior, special, unique, or gifted, or among the chosen ones. They have persistent aspirations for glory, status, and prestige. They strive for perfection. These are the folks that will degrade, cut down, and ridicule others while trying to make themselves feel better. They're the ones that see everyone's mistakes, not because they want to help someone, but for somehow it makes them feel better about themselves. They're entitled. They believe that they deserve preferential treatment, special consideration, attention. They have unreasonable expectations of others. They do not tolerate criticism. Um, narcissists are acutely sensitive to criticism, uh, very defensive, react angrily, um, have a problem that um, they're smug, they're judgmental, they're intolerant of imperfection, especially their own imperfection. They're very anxious and nervous about making a mistake or being judged. They deny or blame or excuse away um, their own mistakes. They just won't apologize. It's always someone else's fault. Narcissists, they turn things around and they blame other people for their own mistakes. They have more shame than you could imagine. That the, We know that the codependent is conscious of their shame. The codependent is conscious of their poor self-esteem. The emotional manipulator has so much more shame, it's just locked up. It's repressed. But, but to criticize someone connects to that shame, and boom, comes a narcissistic injury. They hurt people they love. Narcissists are not, do not enjoy hurting people. They're not sociopaths. They're, it's just that their needs supersede others. 
They're unaware and unable to recognize the harm that they cause. They will not and cannot take responsibility for their actions. They cannot stop or modulate their hurtful behavior because they feel justified. They can't recognize or admit to being at fault. They're quick to blame or to um, deny responsibility. And they might even punish you for being corrected. For, um, it is somewhat common for a narcissist when caught or confronted about a mistake or a problem that they cause is they then turn it around to the other one else and take the focus off themselves.